um, Kim Kardashian basically stopped following Diddy. Oh, this is so good. Oh my God. Your life is completely upside down. Just when we thought 2024 couldn't get crazier, another drama is brewing in Tinseltown, and none the other, the scandalous Kim K is in its center. You already know this lady for her famous intimate tape that got leaked in 2007. Whether you watched that video or not, it seems like another interesting footage featuring Kim is making rounds in Hollywood. And here's the shocker. The alleged video is from Diddy's private bashes, better known as Freak Offs. Insiders claim that Kim K has been cozying up to important people to get secret info, and that was the primary source of her income in the last few years. Recent reports say Kim not only knew about Diddy's sketchy moves, but also helped him create the explosive videos of celebs and politicians, as she's found out that she is featured at the most of them. Kim, it sounds like you might be having a little bit of a hard time just figuring it out. Do you need some help? And just when you think that this mess couldn't get any crazier, one insider claims they know the person behind the leakage. And hold on to your seats, folks, because the name of this person is Justin Bieber, the artist who's been allegedly mistreated by Diddy in his teen years, and now, he's slapping his offender with a revenge. Lately, videos from Diddy's wild parties have been popping up everywhere, and it's hard to detect who's been leaking what. But the biggest shocker is the footage of Kim K, and it's not looking good for her. Things blew up when federal agents raided Diddy's place, uncovering a stash of incriminating videos. As it was previously revealed in one lawsuit against him, Mr. Combs possesses compromising footage of every person that has attended his freak-off parties and his house parties. Upon information and belief, due to this treasure trove of evidence he has in his possession, Mr. Combs believes that... He is above the law and is untouchable. As it turned out, Kim K has been a part of these disturbing activities, and one of the tapes with her was recently leaked. Remember when Cat Williams hinted Diddy wasn't the only big name in trouble? Looks like he was talking about the Kardashians because Kim's in the middle of this mess. All people that love the truth gotta be happy if the truth coming out and lies is getting exposed. That's just what time it is. 2024. The allegations about Kim being a part of Diddy's ring for years in order to fund her luxurious life for years have filled the media. There are whispers that the Kardashians bank account isn't doing so hot, which is getting harder to deny, looking at their lavish lifestyle. But the truth is that presence of massive home loans taken out by Kim and the rest of her famous family totaling well over a hundred million dollars. We all know how Kim and her friends love flaunting their fancy cars and lavish homes on social media, but it looks like they've got cash for that from some powerful figures for their special services. But you know Kim, she's a hustler. If a job is controversial but pays well, she is reportedly all in, not hesitating to bend the rules when needed. There are even whispers suggesting she's rubbed elbows with shady figures in the banking world and been involved in questionable deals. It's all about lying, deceiving, scheming, scheming. Yes. And do this. I got it. You got it? I'm a pro already. And if don't believe this, let's take a short trip down memory lane to Kim's early days. Back in the days, Kim worked as singer Brandy's closet assistant, and this is when she realized that hard and honest labor is something that won't make her millions. She was hustling hard. There's speculation suggesting Kim wasn't always playing by the rules back then. Recently, there's been talk about her and Chloe allegedly getting a little too comfortable with Brandy's finances. The Kardashian siblings allegedly spent over 120000 on Brandy's mom American Express card in 2006 and 2007. Kim worked as Brandy's personal stylist during that time and was using the credit card for her job. The lawsuit filed against Kim detailed that she passed the credit card number along to her siblings, who used it to make unauthorized purchases, including shopping trips at Dash and Smooch, to launder it and cover their tracks. The entire Brandy's family blasted Kim over that sum. Y'all got caught. Y'all got was y'all was guilty. You had to pay my sister. Now, this episode alone shows that Kim K is no stranger to easy and effortless earning. And apparently, seeing how Diddy's hands out Benjamins, she jumped into the wagon of his generosity. As one person commented, it makes more sense that Kim snitched on Diddy because she got tired of being sold out by Diddy. And that's why she knew 24 hours before the raid to distance herself. And another user added, Ong, she's such a liar. Everyone knows she'll do anything for money, trying to blame everyone else for her stupid actions. Kim's shady adventures didn't stop with stealing. Later, as her wealth grew bigger, she allegedly got involved in a money laundering scheme. Her supposed sugar daddy, Joe Lowe, was regularly taking Kim to casinos and gambling spots. I've always been really interested in crime stuff. Some even claim that in 2009, he walked away with 250000 in cash from a Vegas casino and flew back to lay with it stashed in a garbage bag. Pretty wild. Right, but it's not some rumors, and she was actually quizzed by the FBI over this incident. This lady is no stranger of catching the attention of authorities, and apparently, the FBI is just looking for a solid enough evidence to charge her with crimes. Word on the street is that the entire Kim family has been playing games with their taxes, involving some unusual tactics in cahoots at the California Community Church. To simplify, this church was founded by none other than the matron of the clan, Kris Jenner herself. And, and 
just really spiritual. Yeah. And um, our, my whole family is. And guess who's at the top of the donor list? You got it. The Kardashian girls. Kim once revealed in an interview that every girl donates 10 of their income, herself included. And folks, even a 10 donation can lead to significant tax savings each year. And since Kim has been boasting about earning around $80 million annually, that means she could save $8 million on taxes every year. Not only that, but members are paying $1,000 a month just to be members, and it's unclear where that money goes. In general, churches are huge tax loopholes. They're exempt from federal, state, and local taxes, and their financial records are kept closed. No wonder the entire family makes general donations, but folks think it's how they actually launder their money. <laughs> we really don't. In general, this family church makes $50 million a year, and here's the kicker. The Kardashians don't actually worship there. They go to Hillsong or used to attend Sunday service. It feels like this church is just a front for financial gains. Since Matron Chris is overseeing all the church's activities, there's a possibility that the family's donations end up back in their pockets. And this is how they stay rich. But if you're wondering what does this all have to do with Diddy and the leaked footage of Kim K at his freak-off sessions, here's the link between this all. Knowing Kim's history with Shady Money Matters, it's not surprising she's linked to the bad boy CEO. There are even talks about how she personally gets involved in some of Diddy's illegal dealings and helps him evade consequences. But since Diddy's time is over, his victims are exposing his darkest secrets. And it may happen that Justin Bieber became the one to leak the incriminating footage. It was kind of out of my control and everything in this pro process has been like... Justin has faced a lot of problems after getting famous, and some link his mental struggles to Diddy, the man who took the teenage singer under his wing and showered him with gifts and promises in exchange of the pleasure of his company. It seems like Justin might be towards the healing path. As some say, he's the one who leaked the footage of Kim at Diddy's parties. The latest report suggested that during the raid on the music mogul's house, authorities found some disturbing footage implicating Kim in his crimes. According to leaked footage, Kim was allegedly heavily involved and played a major role as his accomplice. Hollywood, it is getting ready to take down every superstar that ever was. This turn of events could potentially lead to significant prison time, especially if Kim K was a part of Diddy's criminal ring for years. It's a shocking development that's sure to shake the Kardashian empire to its core and dethrone them once and forever, and it'll be the offended baby hitmaker who ends it all for Kim K and company. And guess what? Kim wasn't ready for this wild turn of events. There's just nothing that can prepare you for this experience. It is the most challenging. Some have noted how deliberately Kim wants to distance herself from Diddy. She unfollowed him just a day before Homeland Security raided his house. As one person commented, looks like a totally different person since she worked for Brandy, she doesn't even talk the same. And another user added, this family need to be investigated in jail and get those delusional kids away from her before she dose any more damage to them. It looks like we're going to learn a lot more about the Kardashians' shady lifestyle and their rise to fame as more evidence about how they actually earn money is leaked. But folks, what do you think about all this? Could Kim K be a willing participant of Diddy's freak off sessions for money? And will we see another intimate tape with her? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to check my other videos.